our girls. But now with modern technology, most couples know what their baby's going to be before it's born. And the other question that the most expectant mothers are asked is, have you got the suitcase packed? And most of you all know that that baby will come whether you've got the suitcase packed or not. And becoming a mother changes your life the minute that newborn comes. Uh, you were not prepared for the nights of staying awake with a baby with colic or with teeth, with one teeth. In. And you never realized how many diapers you would change or how many times you would have to wipe that runny nose. And your baby may get attached to a pacifier and start sucking its stuff. That's a habit you're going to have to deal with. Your baby will crawl and then it will learn to walk. And many times that baby is going to fall before he's confident. A child never outgrows its need for a mother's love, advice, or encouragement. And I would like to compare this being a natural mother with our spiritual mother. When Sister Holly married Brother Holly, she didn't realize what she was getting into completely. <laughs> because many nights she uh, set up counseling us by phone or in person. And many nights she walked the floor and stayed on her knees praying for us. And there are times maybe we needed to be burped or we needed our nose washes. Why? We had a habit that was hard to break, but we received her encouragement that we could overcome. Some of us crawled for so long it looked like we would never be able to stand alone, much less walk. Then just when it looked like we could not walk alone, we would feel a hand of encouragement telling us to cry and get up again. And it's been said that you never fail until you stop crying. And Sister Holly has always loved us when we were not lovable. She's always been there to encourage us when we needed it the most. And now we have a young lady that's going to attend her with her. Her. 
Her husband praises her, saying, A woman that fears the Lord shall be praised. Amen. And if there are any mothers that have anything to say, you can do so at this time.
My mother insisted on knowing where I was at all times. You'd think I was part of a chain gang or something. She had to know who my friends were and what we were doing. I'm ashamed to admit it, but she actually had the nerve to break the child labor law. She made me work. I had to wash dishes, clean bathrooms, and learn to cook. That woman must have stayed awake at night thinking of things for me to do.